Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.academy. Today, let me take you through a new lesson, The Rat Trap by Salma Lagalov. So here is a lesson for you children, The Rat Trap by Salma Lagalov. Here we do have four characters. The protagonist of the story is Rat Trap Seller. Rat Trap Seller, here he's known as Peddler, Peddler, which means that the one who goes you know, from door to door to sell his things. He's known to be a peddler. So here he's a rat trap peddler here. And he's also known to be a tramp and vagabond. Tramp and vagabond, which mean the one who doesn't have permanent place to live in, uh, like a nomad here. They keep moving from place to place. And he is also a poor here in this lesson. He's a beggar. And he resorted to petty theory so that he could survive here on this uh, planet. And he thought that all good things are baits. And he also thought that the whole world uh, is a rat trap. So here, uh, uh, the whole world offered riches and joys, which are baits again here. He stole 30 kroners from Crofter. And uh, upon stealing 30 kroners from Crofter, he went into the woods, that is into the forest to hide himself from Sharif. So Crofter here, another character, actually this man, uh, you'll get to know about him when you read the lesson. Uh, he, is, um, he lives his life in isolation and that's the reason why when Ratrap Seller uh, knocked at his door immediately, he permitted him to stay for that evening. And on top of it, he confided all the details to him. He gave him porridge for supper and tobacco for his pipe. He also played a game of cards and he was very talkative and friendly. So uh, then uh, he revealed all the details that that is all about 30 kroners getting to know about 30 kroners rat trap seller he stole those things and then he uh, went into the pits and then let's move on to the next character iron master iron master upon looking at the rat trap seller that is the rat trap seller who stole 30 kroners from crofter and he went into the woods and again he was in search of uh, a shelter he got to know about Ram's Joe Ironworks uh, the hammering work was going on uh, by that time he entered into the uh, Ram's Joe Ironworks uh, he was given a haughty consent by the master blacksmith and then thereafter Ironmaster entered into the uh, Ram's Joe Ironworks that is his own uh, factory there he mistook the man that is a rat trap seller as his old regimental comrade captain own tail. he addressed the stranger as Niels Olof he spoke very kindly and invited him home but this rat trap seller he declined the invitation thinking that he would be handed over to Sharif and then later on Iron Master uh, sent his daughter Edla so that she could persuade rat trap seller uh, to their home so here Edla uh, she was very friendly and she was compassionate. She invited Ratrap Seller for Christmas Eve. She wanted the peddler to enjoy a day of peace. From her character, one can understand that love and compassion can transform a human being into an honest person, into a noble person. So the takeaway from this lesson is one can understand or one should understand that anybody can transform a person with the good treatment that is with uh, love and compassion we can transform anybody into a noble and honest person here on this planet so now let me take you through another ppt the PPT here. Yes. So here it is. The PPT. The Rat Trap by Selma Lagalov. She's the author Selma Lagalov here. Uh, she was a Swedish 
writer whose stories have been translated into many languages a universal theme runs through all of them i believe that the essential goodness in a human being can be awakened through understanding and love the story is set amidst the minds of sweden rich and i know which figure large in the history and legends of that country the story is told somewhat in the manner of a fairy tale so here one needs to understand that the essential goodness in a human being can be triggered through understanding and love that's what uh, uh, has been told here in this lesson understanding and love to be very kind and compassionate and those two uh, qualities uh, can transform a human being into a honest person so legends here which means that stories here and the story is like a a uh, fairy tale it's told somewhat in the manner of a fairy tale everyone loves to listen to fairy tale the author wants to convey that man is basically good but sometimes adverse situations make him a criminal what is that adverse situations very bad conditions or the trouble the times may uh, lead the person to be a, a criminal one or may lead him or her to resort to petty thieveries right title the author has used the metaphor of a rat trap to highlight the human predicament here human predicament which means that human condition here and uh, the story revolves around around the incident of a man getting trapped due to his greed so here when we talk about the title here the title is a metaphor metaphor of a rat trap here and that to how just like a rat trap how it uh, has got cheese and pork and attracts the rat similar to that one we human beings are attracted by the riches and joys and uh, uh, all the other materialistic things and slowly will be trapped into this rat trap because of our greediness that's what the author says and that's the reason why the title is very apt this story is set in the middle of the mines of sweden which are rich in i know the story is narrated in the manner of a fairy tale it gives us the message that love and compassion can reform others so here rat trap peddler the one who goes door to door and sells his things edla wilmanson iron master again rat trap peddler crafter crafter which means that the one who rents a farmland and works on it so here crafter due to industrial revolution he lost his job uh, where he was working in um, ramsjo iron works and then he uh, became a uh, farmer farmer in a sense crafter here the one who uh, rents a farmland and works on it and again rat trap peddler also he became a beggar or a thief just because of losing uh, his job due to industrial revolution so the, here is the story a poor peddler sells rat trap of wire he resorts to both begging and petty thievery he was a victim of want and hunger he was struck by an idea the whole world is a big rat trap all comforts and joys are baits to trap falling a prey to such temptation brings ruin one evening a crafter provides him shelter he gives him porridge and plays cards earlier he was working at ramsjo iron works now he sells milk to the creamery he shows the guest 30 kroners in a pouch both of them part their ways half an hour later the peddler comes back and runs away with 30 kroner so here you need to understand that the peddler did not respect the confidence reposed him by the crafter initially he walks on the highway but then he enters into the forest walks in the same part of the forest he got confused and that's the reason he walked in the same part of the forest now he realizes that he is trapped and the forest is an impenetrable prison so he too was trapped because of his greediness as darkness descends gloom and despair increases upon sinking on the ground hears a thumping of a hammer gets to know an iron mill is close by moves in the direction of the sound to find ramsjo ironworks which is a noisy place 
he asks permission from the master blacksmith to stay overnight wherein he gives a hearty consent so here throughout the story you can see uh, different characters one who gives a hearty consent to stay by and whereas crofter he immediately accepted the stranger to stay for a night because even crofter was in want of a companion you do know very well that human beings are uh, social animals here yes rams join works to warm himself he lies down near the furnace now the owner of the animal comes for an inspection in the dim light he thinks that the peddler is Niels Olaf, an old regimental comrade the peddler does not deny his identity either iron mill owner invites him to his manor he declines the invitation of being caught with the 30 kroners the iron master thinks that the peddler feels embarrassed due to his ragged clothes ragged dirty tells him that his sons are abroad his wife elizabeth is dead he lives with his oldest daughter edla as soon as he goes edla arrives though not pretty modest and shy who this lady edla she wasn't looking pretty but she was modest and shy upon looking at her the peddler jumps up abruptly she invites him again over christmas eve to her manor house he covers himself with the fur coat that he received from the lady's valet. Moved by Edla's sympathy, curses himself for getting caught in a trap. The ironmaster plans to do something so that he can eke out his livelihood. Here he refers to the rat trap seller. Edla says that he showed no signs of education. And master hopes to change the peddler's manners. He plans to get him cleaned and expects to find a change after it. So here one can understand that Edla was really very shrewd and sharp. Uh, so just at the sight of the man, he she understood that uh, he was sent on stale at all. He was sent uh, his uh, her father's old regimental comrade. He plans to get him cleaned and expects to find a change after it the valet bathes him cuts his hair and shaves him he appears before the iron master in broad daylight shouts at the guest as he doesn't resemble an old acquaintance upon knowing that he was sent his old comrade immediately uh, iron master shouted at him he explains that he pleaded and begged to be allowed to stay in the forge and master threatens to report it to the sharif sharif here which means that police man he argues that the whole world is a trap though he drops the idea of calling the sharif he asks him to leave the house immediately now edla intercedes and says that it is unfair to turn out the tramp on christmas eve she wants him to enjoy a day of peace with them upon her request he eats food but wonders about edla's motor after the christmas fair the stranger sleeps the whole afternoon and again wakes up to eat christmas delicacies it looks like he had not slept quietly and safely for years it's christmas for shane porridge then he approaches edla to thank her she tells him to keep her father's suit as a christmas gift when she invites him for the next christmas the peddler feels amazed next morning the guest is asleep the ironmaster and his daughter go off to the church. They learn that the old crofter had been robbed by a peddler. They get to know about the peddler and his thievery. Both of them feel unhappy for allowing the tramp to stay at home. Father feels that he must have taken away his silver spoons. The valet informs them that the peddler left behind a little package for Edla as a Christmas gift. When she opens up the package, which was done badly, it contains a small rat trap and three 10 kroners notes and a request to return it to the old crofter. The guest expresses gratitude and that is for her hospitality and being nice to him. He thanks her for treating him like a captain. He reciprocates his gestures in a captain-like manner. He signs his letter as captain on stale thus temptation led him to redemption so through edla this 
protagonist, that is Rat Trap Seller, he tried to atone for his sin. So whatever uh, the wrong things he had done here, he wanted to redeem himself from all his sins. So thus temptation led him to redemption. So that is the takeaway from this lesson. That is love and compassion can transform a human being into a honest and noble person. That's the message through this lesson. And I do believe that children, you must have understood this lesson. Thank you, children. Thanks for listening to me patiently. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.